Hello everybody, and welcome to the Bombus Apis mod. Now we're not just playing the regular Bombus Apis mod, which is AKA the beekeeper class. I've done that before. I did that like two years ago. Well, why would I do it again? Well, I do it again because number one, there's more updates. And also number two, there is a calamity add-on. And it basically just extends the class on into calamity and scales it even more. So I was thinking, why not play it? I haven't played Terraria in a bit. I've been playing too much Power World. So we're going to be playing on Revengeous mode. So I'm thinking we play Expert. Today, we're going to be walking through and just, just kind of playing through the Beekeeper class. Just kind of see what updates they've made since I've last played. And also see how it kind of just expands onto calamity. I think it'll be really fun. It gives me a break from Power World. Huh. Okay, I actually got it to work. I was wondering why it, it, it did that, but I think we're good now. First of all, let's set this onto revengeance mode because we're not pussies. Let's open up our starter bag. Throw away all of these because we're not going to need this stuff, folks. And now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the beekeeper class. So we do high menopetra damage. All right. Fires a burst of three bees before throwing the empty honeycomb. Uses three honey. Ooh. Okay. I do not remember that. That's nice. That's nice. All right. Let's. First thing that I do is I open up the Bombus app. Is this the uh, bee one? So our goal is to make living flower armor pollen, which drops from, I'm assuming, slimes, day blooms, and wood. And then we can make the honey flare gun. And then, then obviously, we have the calamity uh, addition. So what I'm thinking is we'll kind of just play this like it's a regular calamity run. And then along the way, we'll kind of just peer at the wiki to see what's going on. But so far, I mean, like, we're doing real good freaking damage. We have homing, essentially. Oh, it's just, I found pollen. Oh my God. It makes everything. Honey flare gun, wasp helmet beekeeper armor we need pollen and uh and silt i think it'd be easier to just make pollen living flower armor oh my god there's so many things dude let's just pretend like it's a regular playthrough folks ow definitely like a regular playthrough definitely like a regular playthrough dude the sun is a Ooh, pyramid i mean if you insist i guess i'll take one give me a sandstorm in a bottle i'll take a magic carpet but a sandstorm that's what we're talking about yeah eh, eh, eh. How bad I, I, I can I be? Wait, what is that? Gold. Good thing we have ore excavator. All right, so our goal right now, obviously, we got to kill as many bosses as possible. I'm assuming, I'm hoping that the beekeeper class is utterly broken. So that way we can kind of like progress through at a really quick pace and not die. I also want to get some more pollen so I can kind of just have an idea of, ooh, wait, we can do this too. Have an idea of how much stuff we can get. Maybe I shouldn't have put on a texture pack because low key, I don't really know what I'm doing. Too late, we already kind of committed to the texture pack. There's so many things. Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna make some bases now right here oh, wait by the way if you guys are wondering why i have a second channel and have not really been telling people about it it's because i kind of i kind of just miss playing games by myself i've had a few share of commentaries back then but i've never really felt comfortable doing it all right so what i was thinking is i'll make a little meat board you know i honestly never go wrong with speed houses and everyone clowns on me why are you clowning on me for nice quick fast i'm about spacious but oh wait we can make living flower legs sure so honey honey regenerates pretty fast we have one defense and two high men i'm gonna just call it b damage i'm i don't want to butcher that oh yeah every single time i make speed houses people are always like why do you make tables versus the uh, workbench because workbenches are technically smaller number one tables fit this better and also number two um i think workbenches cost a little bit more wood if i'm not mistaken which is a little weird to complain about because it's like such a minuscule thing but i would just prefer to just i would just prefer to do it like this i've also learned how to do it like this also what's really nice about calamity early game is that you get like a bunch of speed bonuses so you can just build everything really quickly if you didn't know but i'm sure you guys do because you guys are professional right, let's go explore um i need to get hermes boots as soon as possible obviously but um, i definitely do want to get more pollen also i'm gonna get rid of this extra pack i'm sorry I, I can't do it dude everything just looks too foreign to me i'm like looking at an item i'm like what is that turns out it's just a recall potion oh it's so nice we can move so fast we can move so fast plus the calamity bonus and the sandstorm in a bottle is crazy oh Oh, this is what I like to see, folks. So what I'm thinking is if we can get Hermes boots, maybe gems for a uh, gem grappling hook and HP, obviously. This looks suspicious. No way! What? Already? This is it. This is the run, folks. I like this animation, though. It's real nice. Our damage isn't really that good right now, though. I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully, we can get a flare gun. I can't believe I'm saying that, but if we get a flare gun, we can get a new bee upgrade. Any day now. I'm running out of honey as well. I guess we have to kill Queen Bee then, huh? I guess that's like a mandatory boss when we play this mod. I'm surprised I'm not making more bee puns. I really can't believe it. I'm gonna kill myself. All right, hold on. There's a mushroom biome here. Usually, there's a lot of chests. I guess not. I guess this mushroom biome decided to skimp out or something if i can get a band of regen i don't want to be i don't want to act spoiled but that'd be a little tasty morsel for me no 
Oh my gosh, I'm throwing. All right, let's place on this furnace and then craft all of our ore with it. Holy crap, we have so much. Should we just make platinum armor? Nah, we gotta use B. I I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, platinum pickaxe. Light platinum pickaxe. Light platinum axe? What the heck? Is it just naturally supposed to be light? Uh, we'll craft an aglet. Hard aglet, I'll take that. Uh, lucky horseshoe, I didn't know you can craft that. And then I kind of have like excess platinum, so I guess I'll make up platinum hat damn we're really fucking stacked i will say that so let's see let's make a goal i think our goal right now is we should get living flower armor we need more pollen uh that's i'm assuming you just get it from enemies honey gun we need a slime gun okay i guess we'll try to kill king slime first sulfuric stinger staff acid wood and sulfuric scales okay petrified honeycomb uh pollen and stone block okay all right let's fire some enemies right now hopefully we can get some pollen baby i will say the damage on this class is really good like we're not really struggling but then again we are playing revengeance mode so we're gonna need about four seven twelve pollen and i'm assuming they just kind of drop oh my god they drop from every freaking enemy holy crap there's an ebonian freaking blight slime dude come on man calamity give me a break dude i can't believe i'm saying this guys but i really want a flare gun right now i think if we had a flare gun we could get the uh oh it's a trapped chest Ooh. There's three explosives. I thought it was two. I gotta brush up. I gotta brush up. I'll look at me. I take a break. I'm slacking, dude. I'm getting held behind. Oh, wait. We need honey. Bottled honey. Oh, my God. All right, wait. Let's go to the jungle then and set up a jungle pile on there. I didn't realize that we would need honey. I mean, I guess that makes sense, right? So I'm assuming they're gonna make honey like a baseline material for most things. What is that? Tin B idol. What? Why did it spawn like that? Can be worn in whatever. Two defense, 4% more damage and critical strikes. All right, here we are at the jungle. And there's a living tree here already? Or a mahogany tree? Why? Is this like a calamity thing? Why does it go so deep? There's a beehive here. I don't want to damage anything, all right? I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to accidentally summon the queen bee. I'm just here to get a bottle of honey. Maybe it would have been smart to get an actual bottle before coming back here. Wait, this is so cool. We're already here at a beehive. All right, let's make some glass and then the bottles. And then I guess we got to walk all the way back. So I want to make the honey gun. This is obviously with the slime gun. So maybe not now, but the honey flare gun definitely can make that. Ooh, a boomstick version though is real nice too. So we can get a boomstick, a flare gun or a slime gun uh, by that time. That'd be real nice. I can't can't believe i actually want a flare gun this is rare this will never happen again this is more rare than me eating vegetables dude this is actually incredible this should be a moment in history boom honey now i could look for a boomstick but i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna farm for some pollen i think we just need the chest plate and then we have the four oh we do have the both be bolt full full b living flower armor set but it's also like why would i use that when i have platinum armor but i guess i'll use it for the mod this is the beekeeper class not the platinum armor class oh some amethyst boom now we can make a grappling hook do i have an anvil on me guess not sapphires and emeralds i can make uh real nice for the uh, magic storage so i don't know if you guys seen but apparently there's like another game that's coming out alongside pal world and early access called like enshrouded apparently everyone's like playing it they said it's like really good i was about trying it but i'm not so sure it's like why would you play that when you can play pokemon with gun <gasps> a gold chest piece please, please a flare gun i'll never say it ever again damn it. all right there's an anvil hill we can make a grappling hook all right now our mobility is basically god level we just need to find golden chests a chest today keeps the monsters away all right there's a water chest here i don't don't think it's gonna be a freaking player gun yet. Oh, but I will take that. What are the odds? Everything I step on has been an explosive. All right, well, we need to get a boomstick or pollen. I'm assuming a boomstick is our best option here now. Oh my god! I, wait! Oh. No, 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 wait, no, wait, no, wait, no! I blocked myself in him! I hug! I'm hotboxing myself! I almost died to a fucking jungle slime Dutch oven. Chests anywhere, folks? Chests anywhere? Give or take, give or take. No takers, no givers? Okay. Oh, there's a chest right there. I didn't see that. If it's a boomstick, I will be the happiest man alive. Ah! Oh, no fucking way. I mean, first Hermes boots, now the boomstick. Can I make it? Oh my God, I can make it. Wait, I can also make the petrified honeycomb. What is this? 35. Nah, I don't want that, dude. Give me the fucking honeybee blaster. It's destroyed 29%. Come on. You can't give me a goddamn break, dude. Wait, I think we can low-key fight the uh, Eye Cthulhu right now. We have a swiftness potion and then some little buffs. And then we kind of have a lot of defense. No, no, we can totally do it. Who cares if this revengeance, bro? I'm baller. I'm doing the bald percent run. All right, let's see how this works. Interesting. I'm actually kind of iffy on this weapon, guys. It's not as fast as I'd like it to be. Is it more than my honeycomb, though? I actually can't tell. We're also midday. We gotta hurry this up. We're midnight. We're about to get adrenaline. Oh, that's doing crazy damage. Boomang. Ba bomba. Bumble club. All right, well, we don't have any honey, and I'm assuming it. Yeah, it. So the thing with honey is that it recharges slower the closer it is to zero, which sucks fat nuts. Oh, come on, I can feel. I'm fresh out of Infernum, baby. What do you got on me? Ah! I got my adrenaline. I can finish this off in one go. It's over. 
It's over for you. Wait, it's over for I miss. It's over for you. Oh, what did I say about that? I have Cthulhu. You messed with the wrong beekeeper. You better believe it. Not there by all. Retinal releaser. I think they're looking at you. Taking damage releases a flurry of Cthulhu bees and increases damage. Pfft, I will take that any day, dude. All right, first of all, let's make some Crimtane. Can we make anything with the Crimtane? Oh, this is a eventually I can make wasp armor. Nice. That was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think we could do it, but we fucking did it. Also, let me make the uh, full bee armor set. Oh, wait, no, I need more pollen. This weapon's pretty good, but I'm not gonna lie. It's not as it's not as good as it sounds. I think the regular boomstick is actually better. All right, how about this? So how about let's try to get the uh let's get this thing the uh, honey gun i do would prefer to have a flare gun but i guess we're gonna go looking for um some rubies some rubies um what else would there be rubies a flare gun so golden chest stuff of that sort whoa that is some nice cthulhu bees oh oh they do they do like 40 damage if you get hit oh <gasps> wait a chest flare gun flare gun flare gun oh, this is the only time the one time I don't want Hermes boots, I get Hermes boots. Oh, there's a dead man's chest over there. Maybe there'll be a thingy. And I know that I'm not going to mine it prematurely because I know that there's three explosives instead of two. All right, now we can mine it. Uh, ooh, band of regen. Lost and afraid. A little boy just wants a flare gun. No one wants to give it to me. Wait, it costs five copper and 10? You're kidding me, right? I'm gonna find a ruby then. Ooh, an, uh, Drayden's lab. Hold on. This looks like an abandoned Drayden's lab, actually. Ooh, wait, ooh, ooh, wah, wah, a ruby crawler. Holy fuck, a ruby be crawler all right now we can fight the king slime everything is going according to my keikaku so we can make the petrified honey but i, I feel like it's not all right i'll try it i'll make the petrified honeycomb just because wait this actually might be better than my actual weapon all right let's beat the king slime get the slime gun and then maybe after that we'll have enough uh pollen because i'm assuming it'll drop a fuck ton of pollen oh it's all crimson altars all right well let's head on home put on our little frugal retinal laser and let's uh buff up summon them up oh these don't have a lot of range though oh but they do so much damage oh my god they do more damage than my actual bee, my b shotgun but then again i have a 30 percent debuff on that baby is that a pinky it can summon pinkies oh wait i got adrenaline how much will this do I think I did a lot of damage. Oh my God, can this honey refill faster? The petrified honeycomb, I think does more damage. Come on, come on, come on, we're so close. <laughs> Let's take care of these guys. We got a little slime pet, nice, nice. Please give me the slime gun. I've never wanted this thing until now. And if I don't get it now, I will cry a river. Oh, I got it. What is that? Gelatinous honeycomb? Whoa. What the fuck? Fires royal bees, which create bouncy balls to fly from the sky. Whoa, dude, that's so cool. And it sucks because of the thing. We are now going to craft the honey gun. Oh, off balance. All right, not bad. Oh, okay, this one's not bad. I kind of like this one. I think I'll use these as my little repertoire for now. So this is like 47-ish damage. Okay. I think in terms of damage, the uh, honey gun does the most. It also seems to use the least amount of honey. Like it uses two honey. Obviously this one does like the gelatinous honeycomb does two. But it uses it at like a really fast rate. It does a lot of nice damage though, I will say that. This is exciting stuff. And we also got a decent amount of pollen from that. Hello buddy, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back on some Terraria Beekeeper class. So I believe in the last episode we beat the Eye of Cthulhu and the King Slime. I don't know if we did the Desert Scourge, but I played a little bit off camera because I wanted to get a few things done because early game's a little bit boring. And that gave us an access to a bunch of new things. So first things first, I have Big Tide Armor. And every single time I attack, every I believe 10 seconds, I will shoot out a like seashell or something. It's really nice. I also got these honeycomb things that like shoot out different types of bees. Uh, the, this one dropped from the Brain of Cthulhu. So if you do any damage with it, it kind of disorientates the uh, the enemies. Like it adds the confusion buff. So they'll start like tripping out and stuff. And I also got this gelatinous honeycomb, which basically it kind of homes onto enemies. And it summons these like red bombs. It doesn't do as much damage, but I kept it in my inventory just because of the homing thing. And then I also made the wasp armor set. This thing right here, it doesn't really do much. The defense is definitely higher. You make this after the Brain of Cthulhu. But the set bonus is that coordinates no longer deal combat tech damage and their stingers do half damage which i don't really want anyway with that being said here's the goals for today's video now, i was kind of hoping to get the arms dealer now the reason why is because we're kind of looking at the next thing that we kind of have to do so we can get the stinger scimitar which requires a enchanted sword which i'm probably not going to get but the next armor set we need to get is called skeletal bee armor as you can see it requires bones and bee wax and hellstone bars i did not know that so since we just beat the brain of cthulhu we have the deathbringer peg axe which means we can get hellstone apparently you can make something called the hellfire bee blaster requiring the honey bee blaster which we've already made before and hellstone 
bars. That will be the goal. And then hopefully this episode, we can fight off the Queen Bee and Skeletron. Boom, I mean, it's the beta. Off to go get some obsidian and hellstone. Oh, wait, 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 stop, stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here, you can actually see this confusion ability in effects. And that's the King Slime one too, as you can see. Boom, boom. It's not that good, but compared to um, anything else that I have, it's the only homing thing. 10 health spent from that, not bad. All right, let's get some of this. Ooh, that was a good one. Ooh. I think out of any ore in this game, Ore Excavator makes Hellstone the easiest to get. Also, on the main channel, I was uploading some uh, Elden Ring with Waffle Time. A lot of people seem to enjoy that. I got a lot of comments and people saying, like, I can't believe they got to Margit on, like, the first try. Or got him half hey HP on the first try. Which, if you don't know, is the first boss of Elden Ring. I don't know if people know, but I did say that I, I, I've i never beaten the game, but I played the game. Like, me and Waffle played a little bit. Very, very minuscule. So, I kind of know the patterns. That doesn't mean I'm good at the game, though. Like, I just know the patterns of what's going on. Wait, these rooms are missing walls? I understand that, but... I hasn't stopped any of you guys before. All right, let's replace the furnace with our hell furnace. Look at this nice and dandy hellstone bars, baby. Oh, wait, we're playing Calamity. I keep forgetting we're playing Calamity. Anyway, we need some more pollen. I don't know why, but every single weapon I get is destroyed. These, I've gotten these ones out of like hell fire bee blaster. What does it look like? Oh my god, five honey. Holy crap. This is it. This is the weapon that will kill Skeletron. You freaking fly like soldier from freaking boom. I already know this class is gonna be absolutely broken. We are doing an insane amount of damage at our level. Oh my god, wait, we can fight Krabulon. What does Krabulon drop for us? A Krabu comb fires truffle bees. When do we get access to Oh, we need to fight the perforators. Ow. Oh my god, what is that damage? Maybe we should fight them now, actually. What am I doing? Arms dealers here. That's real nice. I mean, look at that. Wait, they're homing? The fi the, these bee Not only does the Hellfire Bee Blaster, a little bit of a tongue twister there, shoots blazing bullets from hell, but it also shoots a homing bee bees? I can't believe it. See what I did there? Boom. All right, there we go. Holy mother of God, our damage is insane. Oh, uh, boom. Damage is not an issue. HP is though. We have like, oh, I forgot Big Worm comes out. Oh no, we're running out of honey. Oh my God. No! No! Good thing the shotgun, if you fire it and you fucking can fly with it. Oh, oh my god, this worm. Ugh. No, we're, we're about to die. No. No. One more shot. Yes! Absolutely too goddamn easy. Why is every weapon I get a bad prefix? What is this? Con annoying honeycomb? Okay, it's not bad. Actually, it is pretty bad compared to my shotgun, dude. All right, well, we now have access to aerial light, which means, we oh, we can get this weapon now. The nectar rifle. We need all these, like, I think after this, uh, we can probably fight Queen Bee, honestly. Damn, this class is insane. <laughs> and then we can also use our bee thing to fly. Look at our map, how much more horizontally we go. I forgot they have, like, nodes up here, but they also have Sky Island. Oh, it's so heavenly up here. It's a bee one. Wait, that's real nice. Wait, this is actually really useful. Wait, there's a bee chest in here. Oh, a bazaar. We... We might need that for the Queen Bee fight, honestly. I think I might beat out having a band of regen. <gasps> Whoa! An enchanted sword? Can't we make that one weapon? I, I forgot what it was. The the Stinger Scimitar. We can. We just need, like, um stingers. Oh, my God, dude. We are on a fucking roll. Dude, we are speed running. We are, we are zooming past. We are the complete opposite of Thorbin's fucking year-long playthrough, dude. We're doing this shit in a day. We're speed running a year in a day. <laughs> Love that guy, by the way. If you guys don't know who he is, he does um one Terraria world for one year. One month is dedicated to a specific phase of the game. And then that gives him, like, ample time to build so he's not rushing anything. Thing. so it's a really cool take on a series you guys should check it out he's doing it or i believe calamity now because he finished his regular one a while back anyway what do we need aerial oh we need feathers and boom the nectar rifle you can't tell me this shit looks insane or doesn't look insane wait what one of drayden's old toys rapidly fires charged concentrated beams of nectar and spawns several bees on hits What's over here? And like, uh, let's, uh, let's make a little platform, baby. crack a lacking on a platform. But I think the shotgun is better. It's just slower, which isn't necessarily bad because we have to combat the honey usage. I guess it pierces. I think that's a good one. Oh, but come on. I mean, look at that. Why use that when you use the Hellfire Bee Blaster? Oh my God. I almost had adrenaline. Boom. What is this? Royal jelly permanently increases maximum money by 15. I'm gonna take that. And then we got, oh my God, holy crap. Wait, what? We got, first of all, we got the needle shot. Wait, this is like a three round. This is like an M16 and it gasses them out. Holy crap. What is this thing? I got the uh, Queen's Charge. Oh, it's a shield for charging. Or it's a it's a shield of Cthulhu, but for bees. Oh my God, we... 
<laughs> we fly, dude. How are you to compete, Queen Bee? I am the real bee. All right, well, let's, like, uh, let's put all of this stuff back in the chests. We got so many things. Oh, yeah, we got this, the sting. Conjures. Wait, I just saw something crazy. I just read something insane. Conjures a mini Queen Bee that attacks the mouse cursor. There's no way we're going to die anytime soon. I'll catch you later. Can you believe this is happening? Got it? This is beyond my wildest dreams. I can't wait to kill myself. What's up, Skeletron? I'd fight you right now, but someone's been a little upset. I only really could come out during the nighttime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuses. You just don't want to go outside. I assume this is the way to the Sulfuric Sea. And if this is, we can set up a Sulfuric Pylon, if you guys didn't know that. All right, now we have access to the Sulfuric Sea, and I guess we'll farm here for a little bit. I want to test out this Sting item. Queen Bee item. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, folks. It's not that good. I think this will be real good if you want to like... Oh, this will be really good against the wall of flesh. Or like the golem or something like that. Yeah, it's really good against like still enemies. But why would you use that when you get to use the Hellfire Bee Blaster? I think the Hive Pack does actually buff it. Because I feel like every time I use the Hive Pack, I'm just infinitely stronger. Oh no, it definitely does. Look at the bees that come out. They're a little bit bigger compared to the small ones that come out right here. See, you see that? You see the... Right? I got bored. I left. I don't want to do the S rate event anymore i guess it's time to make a uh magic storage system boom that's all it took it took me like 10 seconds to make that made a little basic area but we do need some silver clean area i got a red mushy ground beef all right there's my little ground beef squish matic hut none shall enter and none shall see the light of day if thy does enter all right let's make a bed and then sleep till nighttime so i definitely want to get a goblin army sometime soon so we can get some rocket boots but i don't think oh it's nighttime already all right let's see let's get the check mark down and going um, we need rocket boots. Eventually make some frost spark boots. We could make some arrow spec armor, but with the dude, the amount of damage we're doing, it's like, why would you do that? Maybe I should have played on master mode. Ooh, that would have been nice. All right, let's do this. Buff up. Bam. Let's fight, old man. Show me what you've got. Oh, this one actually might be the one for this fight. Because it kind of pierces through both of them. It's real nice. Oh, we ran out of honey. He grew back his hands? Oh my god, I'm dying. Boom! That was a little close, I'll give you that. Every time a jammed skeleton. All right, I'll get I'll, I'll take it, I guess. What does this do? Whoa. Whoa, it like slashes them. Press right click to fire a cursed skull. That's really cool. I'll actually use this. Ooh, the slices are nice. Imagine this on the wall of flesh. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I guess while we wait for the goblin army, you know, if it ever even comes, I could always farm for the slime god. I assume this fight wouldn't be crazy. Oh my gosh, there's so many meteor heads here. Fuck off. Must I get rid of your home country? I pull an Omni Man on you. Please leave me alone. Oh, goblin army. Yeah, yeah. Throw this down. I can't believe I haven't gotten a crimson heart yet. Can I have a crimson heart from that? I can't be a crimson heart, so I'm just gonna seal that up. Yep. I was hoping it would be though. You know, I had trouble with this phase, but you can just kind of see where it goes on the map. I don't know where it died. Are you kidding me? I'm not going there. That was a waste of a Brain of Cthulhu fight. I needed the Demon Knight. There's so many enemies, man. Come here. You're getting a lot of honey pollen. Pollen honey from this though. All right, now we can find the Goblin Tinkerer, if we can find him. Hello, buddy. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're back on some more Beekeeper class, and I've discovered a very fascinating revelation today. So apparently, I think I mentioned it before, that we're playing on an older version. We're playing on 1.4.3 instead of 1.4.4. And the reason being is because we're playing the Beekeeper class mod, which is the Bombus Apis mod, but also we're playing the Bombus Apis Calamity extension. The thing is, the Beekeeper mod, the Bombus Apis, the main mod itself, is the only one that got updated to 1.4.4. The Calamity extension, unfortunately, did not. So when I played this playthrough, I wanted to do both of them. Them, so I went back a version and in doing so it turns out I missed out a lot of really cool features So obviously one of the things is when you hold out a beekeeper weapon you get this little bar right a modern rendition of the mod or in the more updated version You get this really cool this little aura thing. That's like so freaking cool So yeah, that was my my midlife late res uh, realization anyway Let's get you guys up to speed So in the last episode, I believe I did goblin army perforators queen bee skeleton We got a few bosses off the list real nice and tasty I did a few things off camera because they're just a lot of tedious things So I had my magic storage, but it's a little hut i also changed my armor set so i upgraded my armor set to the skeletal bee armor it required hellstone and uh bones so after skeleton we had access to it now this armor set obviously they give us more honey we have 155 honey compared to i think 120 last time so that's good 
that's more attack basically we also have this like little skeletal bee minion we also crafted something called the honey globule which increases our honey capacity but also increases our attack and inflicts something called disgusted i'm not really sure what that does i haven't tested it out yet and also since we found the goblin tinker we were able to get the best reforge for any honey weapon which is called godlike which is more damage speed and critical chance and then also while we were in the dungeon while farming for us uh, bones we got this thing called the succulent mana infused honeycomb which basically it charges up really slow and when you release it it summons these homing mana bees and why explain everything when i can just show you guys with the slime god fight oh yeah also i was thinking about getting aerialite armor but i kind of decided against it because i I, mean, I already have skeletal bee armor but if this fight goes like really bad i can always just get it our damage is really good let's try out these mana stars as you can see you charge them up and they home oh they kind of do a lot of damage all right we don't have to do a lot of damage our minions going crazy i will say that oh my god 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 what the fuck wait why is there a ghost version of it i gotta get away i'm dying and i don't have any honey oh god wait there's healing right there is this it oh there's a wait what Oh, okay. The slime god flees to fight another day. Suck my nuts, you're dead anyway. Right, that was close, I will say. I kind of panicked a little bit there. But anyway, we beat it. Uh, we got an electrolyte gel pack, and we got the fast overloaded honeycomb. Fires overloaded bees that give the disgusted bee effect. What does that mean? I'll keep it on, but I'm just a little confuzzled, dude. I'm pretty sure you can actually make a stata gel armor set for the beekeeper. All right, let me go get some honey blocks real quick. So this class, I genuinely think it is definitely overpowered. Very overpowered. And I actually think if you play this on infernum it might hold its weight i was very iffy if i wanted to play infernum with this class because number one infernum is fucking hard and i'm ass at the game like if i played infernum i will be literally in shambles i will cry every single day i'll be bullied like the minority that i am in infernum dude this armor set for some reason reminds me of um south park right, let's put it on we just made an armor set so this gives us the same amount of honey but instead we get a hive to protect us okay we get more damage we get more defense but i low-key like the little bee minion it's kind of cute all right whatever it has to be better right wait this item looks kind of crazy it has the effect of bees the cthulhu bees what are all of these items wait how do i get the stinger necklace does it drop from the queen bee by any chance don't tell me you need the oh my god we need the shark tooth necklace can i buy it yes i can all right we're making this item hold on it's called the what again the hemen patrian hymeno patrian i'm so sorry i'm butchering that so hard we'll make the stinger necklace you need to be around honey to make the glass of honey a jar of honey i'm assuming we only need one because i'm only going to make one all right now we need a panic necklace oh my god i had a panic necklace and i didn't pick it up from the freaking thing because i was like why would i need a panic necklace i will say one of my favorite things right now is that the bee blaster literally makes you fly if we fight against the wall of flesh we will literally not get caught by that little grubby boy i will say i think when i played the first original beekeeper class or the old updates one of the most rage inducing things was that the honey for some reason took forever to regenerate i think maybe Maybe I was just, I don't know. Like now it's pretty decent, but I swear when I played, it was really annoying. But then again, I had, I was pretty stupid back then. I just acted like I had a lobotomy or something. Give me the panic necklace. First try, eat my asshole. Ooh, a crimson heart, I'll take that. Give me the panic necklace. I will literally go fuck myself. Oh, we can actually try to fight it. Oh, use the overloaded bees. Oh, what do these do? It seems to be doing a lot of damage. I will say that. But why would I use any of these when I could just stay strapped? I guess the homing's pretty nice, huh? Another Undertaker? Can I buy it? I can buy it. And they say money can't solve any problems in life. All right. The Hymena Trivia Necklace. Armor penetration by five, max honey by 10, releases bees, Cthulhu bees, increases damage, movement speed, and gives the player the honey buff when damaged. That's insane. Honestly, we could totally fight the wild flesh right Right now but I'm, i want to see i want to see what else they have mm, the honey rifle 25 pollen i don't know if i can make that i don't think i have enough pollen i have eight pollen i don't know every single time i try to fight things at night it doesn't give me pollen let's try it out maybe i'm tripping out right yeah like there's no all right there's like one piece of pollen Ooh, four never mind that's a lot of pollen all right we can just fight it at night stay strapped folks now, by the time you guys are probably seeing this video it might be the middle of february i don't know i'm kind of i'm gonna kind of hold off on uploading these because i want to get the movie out as soon as possible or the full version of this where i play through the entire mod and then all of you guys can just watch it in one sitting you know there's a commentary it's super nice and i'm gonna probably time it where at the end of all of these cut commentaries so i'm assuming maybe like six episodes of these because i'm gonna play like a little bit off camera um it'll come out you guys can watch it it'll be really nice and by that time i'm assuming calamity infernum with awful time will probably be out hopefully that series is going fantastic for you guys hopefully you guys enjoyed i think you guys will have a lot of fun with it it was super fun recording it we played for about like a week straight to do it because it was so freaking fun anyway let's make the the honey rifle let's try it out 
Okay. Wait a fucking second. This is actually insane. I think this is the strongest weapon so far. It barely uses honey. It uses one honey? I think we might have a new contender for the best gun. The fact that it has one honey uses versus five give, is giving it insane brownie points. I think we're ready to fight the wall of flesh. So I made a little uh, brimstone crags biome pylon, which is real nice. If you guys don't know, you can do that. Let's fucking do it. Um, Summon? Okay, wait. It's kind of... I'm not gonna lie. I thought I'd be doing more damage to it. This gives us the honeyed buff? Oh, give me that adrenaline. Oh, that's real nice. Oh, God. I, I, thank God I had terror spark boots. I completely forgot about that. Ow. Oh, my God. There's no way we die, right? Oh, God. Revenge mode does red lasers, and you can't really see... Uh, hello? Oh, uh, maybe we should have gotten warding, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Demon scythes? I forgot it did that. Oh, no, guys. They fucking hold! Dude. I think the reason why I died is I had to, like, squiggle through all of my arenas. That was rough. We totally had that in the bag, though. I mean, like, honestly, I think if we reforge all of our accessories to, like, warding or something, because, dude, we were taking fat damage. Can't believe I did. I said all of that, like, crazy talk and all of my glory and just burnt down. I'm like a generational talent that was in the military instead. I think it'd be better if we kind of open up the space a little bit. Damn, I still can't believe we died to that. I'm, I'm, I'm dumbfounded right now. But then again, I'm making such a spontaneous and archaic arena. Like, if I made, if I had, like, a really flat open arena, I'd be fine, but I, I don't want to risk that because we're playing Calamity. I don't Want anything to despawn we also don't have any campfires on our arena which is something that i didn't think i would need but honestly i could just eat a piece of cake for that if you guys don't know there's like a battle station buff where you don't have to actually have all the stations down and like you know like duplicate them you can just eat a piece of cake gives you all the buffs it's real nice all right we used up all our platforms good enough i'm assuming we have some potions um let's get that piece of cake that i was talking about i believe you buy it from here i've always struggled with the revengeance mode wall of flesh i don't know why it's just the way that he moves fucks me i might turn off my background honestly I think it's those demon scythes. That shit was fucking me up. All right, we have 31 defense. I guess we kind of have to make do with what we got right now. I mean, I think we kind of don't have anything else to do. I mean, we can get like a food buff. Guess we can get some more potions. I could place down campfires, but that's a little too much work. And I do not want to put into my... Let's use the uh, Hellfire Blaster this time, though. And turn off the background. Ew, it's all ugly now. Ew. Let's do this. All right, we're doing way better with no background and staying up close. I jumped into that fucking laser. Oh, no, they're doing demon sights. Oh, my God. All right, bro. I need to heal up. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Dude, these demon sights keep fucking homing. It's insane. Can I make anything like any food substance? Monster lasagna. I guess it's the best I got, huh? Oh, my God. It does so much fucking damage. Dude, maybe I do gotta set campfires. Honestly, that's insane. It's just those freaking, uh, what is it called? Those demon sipes literally home you. They're fucking heat seeking up your asshole, man. Honestly, this background Loki makes it worse. Uh, no, this is definitely worse. I can't see jack shit with this. All right, I think I've made my mark with all my campfires. I hate demon sipes with a fucking passion, dude. Let's buff up. Look at all these buffs, man. Come on. Don't tell us we're gonna die now. Oh no, Theodore. Don't kill me now. Um, I got a glass of water on my fucking desk. Hold on. Oh, oh, do more damage, do more damage. Oh my God, wait, this might be it. I didn't get it a single time. Just use the bees at home, Adrian. Don't, why are you thinking about aiming? Don't even aim. Why are you thinking so? Oh, what the? I'm taking so much damage. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh baby, that was too easy. That took way too long. That is in 33 tries. Oh, we got the goat skull mount too. Let's fucking go. Wow, we got a lot of stuff. All right, first of all, we got the demon heart. We got the demonic carnage, which is a calamity weapon. We got the beat, the honey shot. All right, now we are now in hard mode. So something really interesting about uh, Calamity is they rework the way that ores work. Hard mode ores, specifically. So, for example, before, you know, you can just go into the, um, you go into hard mode. You take your pot hammer, you mine all of the ores. You get, like, cobalt, mithril, you get titanium, and then, you you know, you skip all the way up to titanium. Boom, titanium armor. You can't do that in Calamity. They make it so before you beat any mechanical boss, you only will have cobalt slash palladium. And if you mine anything, you will only get souls of night. So it's really a nice way to get souls of night, but that also means you're locked from palladium and cobalt. And also that means you can't make a mithril forge or a titanium forge. Like if you want wings, you need a mithril anvil. I don't know if you guys know that. Well, you probably do, but you weren't thinking about it. So now I gotta kind of think about what mechanical boss I can fight first with no wings. What the hell? What is that evil smasher? For every enemy you kill, this hammer gets stat bonuses. We're in hard mode. Let's see what we can craft. A modified honey rifle to make the honey spicy. You need essence of havoc, which I assume drops from hell creatures. Yup. And then some cobalt. I, all right, we'll make this. Yeah, we're kind of limited on things that we can craft. Oh, that kind of 
That sucks, fat balls. Oh, wait, we could fight Cryogen. If we fight Cryogen, we can get um Daedalus Armor. And Daedalus Armor will eventually give us wings, early game wings at least. I will say, I can't tell if progression is going smooth because we're playing Beekeeper or it's just because I'm so goddamn good at this game now. But I will say, playing Infernum definitely makes me appreciate these bosses way more. All right, we need to get some Essences of Havoc. I'm assuming we have enough Palladium. Oh, we need to make a pickaxe as well. Hold on. Oh, they're homing B. All right, it's definitely not ass. It's just, it takes a while to, to pump up. Oh, no, this is, I think the honey shot is more like if you want a lot of homing bees. And if you want to do more direct damage, you use the honey fire bee blaster. Okay, yeah, let's get the back out of here. All right, so we put the honey rifle in. We need a mithril anvil, dude. Are you serious, man? All of these weapons require a mithril anvil. Well, I guess we gotta go to the snow biome because we can't do anything right now. Game progression has foiled my plans. I guess we gotta do cryogen. So cryogen, ice boss. We're gonna need to get the cryo key, which requires souls and essences of LLLLLLM, which is dropped from enemies in the snow biome. Oh, that's one. How many do we need? We need five, eight. All right, the bow definitely is not as good as the shotgun. That is my final consensus. Why am I using it though? It homes. I ran out of honey. Let's go back home. Wait, a ice golem. If it drops an ice feather, I will happily take those. And and oh, an ice feather? What? If only we can make wings right now. Nope, we can't because we need a mithril anvil. <laughs> this ice cave sucks, by the way. It goes into a stone one. Why is it like kind of formed this way? Wait, what is that? What the heck? What is this? What is this? What? What's in here? Rhyme hound mount. Oh, it's this thing. Oh, it's the ice chest. I used to find this all the time in every playthrough because it's so cool. Oh, demonic ancient ice chunk. I will take that. Oh my God. Look at this. Look at this, folks. Boom. Wait, what? There we go. So satisfying. All right, we have everything to make the uh, cryogen spawner. Cryo key, buff up. If I'm not mistaken, I think you need like a warmth potion for this fight as well, right? Warmth? Makes it so you don't freeze during this fight or something. I don't remember. I wish I could see in this freaking place. Oh my God. All right, let's try out the boss. If we fail, it's all good. We do not do damage. Our hellfire blaster does. Oh my God. All right, he's going in derpy mode, I think. Oh my God. Oh my god! All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't see jack shit in this background. All right, much better. Damn, this adrenaline's taking its fucking sweet time, huh? All right, that's some good damage. Oh my god, that hurts like a bitch. I forgot that cryogen has like a million fucking phases for some reason! Oh my god, oh my god. Ooh! I gotta dash as much as possible. I keep forgetting that when I dash, I keep getting bees. I mean, at least our movement's like allowing us to... I was gonna say dodge, but I apparently did not dodge right there. Why is my music cutting in and out? Wait, what? It's so weird. I, unironically, the snowstorm is helping me see the freaking boss pellets. Oh my god, I almost died for fall damage. We're so close. Come on, 2000. I can't hear the fucking boss. Come on, we're so close. If only I could hear the boss, I could actually fight it. Oh! Oh my god. Halfway through that fight, I developed tinnitus, man. That was hard. All right, what do we get? Eh, you don't really give us anything, if I remember correctly. All right, cryogen done. We got the snailish hypothermic honey blaster. Of course, it's fucking snailish. What does it do? Uh, spawns one to two homing icicles. Second, I'm 16. I will take that. We also got the soul of cryogen, which counts as wings. Well, that's one hard mode boss down. Final fucking lee. And we got some delicious platinum out of that. Oh, we look fucking sick, baby. But yeah, I think that'll be for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this b-class playthrough i think it's super fun i think it's fantastic i actually can't wait to see like what type of end game gear they'll do with, with this mod so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and it's been adrian guys hello everybody and welcome back to the channel my name is adrian and today we're playing some more terraria beekeeper class i would be playing more of this but i'm pretty addicted to power world right now but we're not gonna talk about that on the last episode we spent a decent amount of time just doing a lot of things for example killing slime god and killing the wall of flesh to ultimately have us now be in hard mode also right before the episode ended we also fought cryogen and that allowed us to kind of get some nice stuff we got some cryogen wings but right now our accessories are they're not crazy good but they're not crazy bad like we have the terra spark boots we have some decent armor and also off camera what i did was i beat the destroyer the fight itself wasn't crazy hard it was more tedious if anything because we weren't doing bad damage we just weren't doing fast damage so we definitely could kill it it's just that one hit and we were dead but yeah nothing crazy dropped from the destroyer other than the fact that we got this off balance pro bee comb which charges up and shoots these probes things to come out so it's really cool but anyway since we beat the destroyer it gives us access to mithril which gives us access to mithril ore anyway our goals for today's episode is we're gonna get some more mithril since we have access to a mithril anvil we can kind of craft everything that we wanted to craft earlier but we couldn't like the hot honey rifle and the cyst comb it is fucking freezing in my room oh my god by the way it's like 5 a.m right now my freaking nubs are like cold as hell also sorry if my voice sounds a little bit weird i just woke up all right we got some oral cum right here all right so we got about 
50-ish ore. Oh, we should probably also get some cobalt too. All right, how much ore will come do we have? We have 78. The smith will makes us 50 something. And then now we have about 80, 90. All right, let's get this little pair right here and then head on home. I'm thinking that the next boss we fight is by the end of this episode, we should be able to kill the twins. Because I think Skeletron Prime is going to be a little bit too bulky. All of that. All right, we got 50 something bars. Or a calcum anvil. All right, can we make the hot honey, hot, hot, hot honey rifle? Yes, we can. Let's craft it. Ooh, it's godlike. What is it, Lou? Rapidly fires two to three streams of honey. This honey inflicts brimstone flames upon hit. That's pretty fucking sick. All right, anyway, let's try to get the cyst comb now. We need 15 iker, 15, 15 iker, 10 vertebrae, 10 honey. I believe we have the corruption down. By the way, if you guys are new here, if you don't know, we're playing some Terraria Calamity with a modded beekeeper class, but also we're playing on an older version. The beekeeper class is updated for the latest version of Terraria, but it's not updated for the latest version of Calamity. Wait, I said that wrong. There's two mods we're playing with, the beekeeper mod and the beekeeper Calamity extension the calamity extension is not up to date so that's why we're playing on this version also if you guys are new here welcome to the channel we've been getting a ton of subscribers on this channel which is absolutely fucking insane welcome guys thank you guys so much for the support especially on the power world videos you guys are loving that oh this weapon's pretty good on the red devil i don't know about that all right what about the probes Ooh, does it beat the shotgun though i don't think so Our honey rifle's not bad ow Okay, it's definitely, I think it's better than our shotgun finally now. Oh God, okay, I'm dying, I'm dying. Okay, I'm dying, I'm dying. All right, I don't think we're gonna, I think we're gonna stop using the uh, the shotgun because that's why. I guess it's time to put you to sleep, little boy. But God, this thing has been carrying me the entire game. Actually, I'm gonna keep it just in case. Can we craft the cyst comb? No, what do we need? 10 vertebrae but yeah the power videos are doing so freaking good it's actually crazy and i think the power world land ball only run has like already 600 views which is absolutely freaking mind-boggling like i know this is a second channel but i haven't told anyone about this channel so it's only you guys and it's freaking crazy how much you guys are liking the videos so we need vertebrae but i don't think the enemies downstairs spawn vertebrae anymore i wish the probes lasted a little bit longer oh these probes are gonna be crazy on the twins i can already smell it i can already oh we got the skeleton prime spawner that's nice 100 one of my favorite things about calamity is that if you get a boss spawn item, you can use it unlimited times. I don't know, it just feels right to me. What's that metal noise? Oh, possessed armor. All right, we got all the verts we need. Nice. All right, now we can inflict Iker, which I'm probably gonna hold on to this for the rest of the entire game. Is that all Iker? Anyway, it's nighttime. Why don't we try out a boss? Because for some reason, we can't get hollowed bars. I guess that's a calamity thing they added. I mean, is there anything else that we can craft for the B armor set? I mean, everything we need seems to have hollowed bars, so um, we're not in luck. Oh, wait, we can make B sniper armor. We need adamantite and... Oh, wait. No, I lied. We need adamantite. Wait, 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 wait. When do we get cryonic bars? Is that after cryogen? Oh my god, wait. What are we doing? Let's go get cryonic ore. I completely forgot about this. Holy McSmackaronis. Well, well, that's what I get for playing on an older version. I do not want to keep mining ore, calcum, and mineral, dude. Please don't let me do that again. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. We need to make the cyst comb too. No way, dude Are you fucking kidding me? All right, it's not too bad. How about this? Let's go get that ore and then farm the whatever again Now if i'm not mistaken, uh cryonic ore spawns deep in the snow biome. Oh my god <gasps> There's the cryonic ore. I can taste it right there Wait, what? Don't tell me we need a titanium pickaxe to mine cryonic ore. All right, it's fine. Let's do this I think our accessories are pretty decent right now. Yep Let's do it. Off balance pro B comb. Oh God. What the hell? Oh my God. It does like them. Yo, is it just me or the spasm? Oh my God. Wait, he's already going into cranky mode. We do that much damage. Oh wait, you can only, oh wait, yeah. I forgot this is calamity. You have to get both of them at the same time. I forgot his fires are purple. Are those the probes? Why are they doing so much damage? Oh my God. Wait, we're about to kill the spasmatasm. Oh my God. The pro B honeycomb is actually crazy. I think we just killed the spaz. Oh my God. Randy right is going to die. Is that it? Is that it? Oh, what? Why did we kill them so fast? I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. All right. See, yeah, when you kill them, you don't get... All right, we got a new weapon, but we don't get the, um... You don't get bars. All right, well, we got... We got we got ocular remote. Calls upon the retina comb and spaz comb to technically... To terror... Pfft. To temporarily fight for you. Only one pair of twins can be alive and once each twins drain your honey. What is it? Hmm. <gasps> it's like a summon? What? And they use your honey, which sucks fat nuts, but then you could just self-destruct them. All right, well, it's fine. They're, they're, that's cool. You can have them as a summon. I fuck with that. Before we fight Skeletron Prime and rush this game, let's go mine some ore and then get the most strongest loot possible and absolutely crush Skeletron underneath the brim of his skull. Something that's real nice, I guess, is um, since you don't have to mine the demon altars, I think the max amount of adamantite ore is already spawned for you. So if you don't mind all the demon ores, you can still find a fuck ton. Uh, this is so cool. Dude, it's like an actual summon item. You're 
already know how that, how that makes me feel. It makes me all gooey inside. Right, let's get this adamantite. And then I think we're going to need... How much do we need? We just need to make the furnace. Oh, we can make, we probably should make these sniper ammo. I mean, armor. Oh, but then I can... But why would I make that when I can make Daedalus, uh, Daedalus Beekeeper armor? Oh, yeah. Did you guys know that you can buy the Rod of Discord from the Wizard for like 50 cents? I think it's a Calamity only thing, but I never knew that until Waffle showed me. And I wanted to kill myself because we were farming for it for a while. Is this all hollowed? It's quite... Oh, my God. It's beautiful in here. I've never been so enamored by a digital biome. I'm leaving. Adamanti Forge. Uh, Adamanti Pickaxe. All right. Let's go get that cryonic orb, baby. The one that's been edging us this entire time. Yo, these twins are killing everything. It's sick. The only problem is that they drain my honey all the way to the bottom, which sucks because going from 50 to 100 is faster than 0 to 50. Because, you know, the curve of honey healing, I guess I should say, is like, it's a parabolic graph. See, look how slow my honeys regenerate. Oh, no, it's not regenerating. Look, if I kill them, look how slow it regenerates. It's not bad, but look, it's like way slower than if I had, look, now it's getting faster. See? 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 And that's really fast right now. Also, I was thinking after I beat this class, I was thinking maybe checking out the Dragon Ball Z Calamity Edition. Because a lot of people have been telling me to play that. They add like Ultra Instinct and shit like that. Because I don't really want to just do like a regular class playthrough, especially if you just get to the, you know, baseline of Terraria. You beat Moon Lord, that's it. I think doing Calamity is a nice add-on. You know, you get to really see how far you can take it with some gods. Or bosses, I should say. Back off, scum! Alright, let's make some cryonic bars. I can make 58. Daedalus Veil. Boom. Daedalus Breastplate, and then Daedalus Legs. And then I think we can make something called Starlight Wings. I lied. Oh, we probably need Souls of Flight. Hold on. Alright, I have Daedalus Armor now. So we're going from 37 to 55 defense. Also, do we do more damage? Uh, no, we do less damage. Oh my god, wait. Yeah, we do a little bit less damage. Okay, interesting. Wyverns. Just kidding, they're called Wyverns. If you ever say Wyverns, you're saying it wrong. Oh my god! <gasps> There's a Sky Island here. Alright. That insta kills it! Oh my god, if we had the Syscomb during the Destroyer fight, it would have been over in like five seconds. Starlight wave. Yes. This gives us a damage boost too whenever we wear the, uh, the actual armor set, which is nice. Now, is there anything else I can craft before I fight this boss? Mechanical locket? No. Now, since our game crashed, we need to craft the mechanical skull. <laughs> I think we got this in the fucking bag. Summon the mechanical skulls, and then let's throw a cyst comb on it. Uh, let's hit it, Adrian. Nice. And then let's do the ocular remote. I don't remember if this version of Skeletron Prime, we actually have to kill all of the hands, but right now it looks like it's fucking possible. All right, we're running out of honey. All right, we gotta, we gotta cool, we gotta calm down. We gotta let honey regen Dude, the honey cyst comb is crazy it's like a boomerang almost all of the hands are done all of the hands are done but wait this is skeleton prime he might regrow his arms back what is he fucking doing give me a goddamn break it's not hard it's just there's a lot of fucking lasers oh my god he's almost dead come on Yes! The hollowed has been blessed with consecrated stone. Oh, we finally get hollowed bars. And we got a metal plated honeycomb. Hold left click to channel the power of the honeycomb prime. Whoa. Now this is sick. All right, I'm going to put my honey shot rifle kind of away. I'm going to use all of the mechanical bosses like things. I think that's so cool. All right, now we can get hollowed, uh, hollowed bars. And I'm pretty sure in this version, we have to mine it. All right, well, I think I accomplished all the goals that I wanted for this episode, but let's keep going. I've only been playing for about like 40 minutes, so let's Let's try to finish off this episode with getting all of the hollowed armor that we need. Actually, I kind of like the Daedalus armor set right now that we got going. Because, yeah, we can get hollowed armor, but then so what? Oh, but Holy Crusader sounds cool. That looks sick. I might get that. <laughs> Ooh, we can also make the Dark Light Crystal. Throws a Dark Light Crystal at that explodes into Dark Light Boss. The bees, be well, I can't English. We can also make the Mechanical Locket. All right, let's make that. Honeycomb of the Damned. Holy Crusader armor. Honey Flare. Dude, there's so many weapons we can make. Ooh, that's hollowed ore. Looks really tasty mmm yummy yummy in my tummy we got 170 uh, little ores wait what is this is this the lab why does the lab look oh it's like a lava segment i'm like did i drown that bitch let's go from the top top down let's make the mechanical locket we might need more pollen wait, wait i want to make the mechanical car first mechanical locket all right cool let's replace this with the band of regen so now basically every single time we do damage with the b projectiles it'll spawn three mechanical souls one that homes and does frost burn one that heals me and one that burns enemy blood that sounds really I can go. Honeycomb with the damned. And then honey, honey, honey flare cannon. We got a lot of weapons to test out. Let's test out on the uh, king slime. The honey flare of the... Whoa! Whoa! It summons souls of the damned. And then those are the souls of sight and whatever that uh, are healing me. Okay. This is also embarrassing. So it has less damage and speed. Pretty nice. Right, let's try out the uh, honey flare cannon. Oh, this is one of my favorite weapons. Oh, we're going to use that. This is one of my favorite weapons. I've used this in the main playthrough. Basically, you shoot out honey flares and then they explode. And it does a fuck ton of damage. Is the off balance decent? 
decent enough to compete. Yeah, off balance is a homing one. And then we have our spiker. Damn, we have a lot of weapons, huh? I don't know, guys. We have a lot of cool fucking weapons. I want to use all of them, but I can't. I usually, I'd like to keep a rule of using only three. I guess I'll keep the honey flare cannon in the back pocket because it is like an actual weapon weapon. Like you aim it and you use it and you shoot it and you, you know, kill children with it. Everything else, I don't know. Anyway, can we make some Holy Crusader armor? I don't think I can. I think I ran out of hollow bars. Holy Crusader mask. Greaves and I can't make any more. Pollen. All right. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I think this weapon's really good for close quarters, but when it comes to long quarters or a long, that long, I'm, I'm, I'm the. For example, if we're fighting Supreme Calamitous or even a Calamitous fight in general, we'd have to get away really far or run away. Anyway, let's make some Holy Crusader armor. Pop that bitch on. We look like a uh, paladin. So we're going from 66 defense to 70. We're going from. 55 damage to 53. What's the set bonus? More maximum honey by five. Taking 50 damage in one hit causes a holy barrier to form around you. This holy barrier makes the next hit deal 50% less damage. 165 honey versus 160. But the thing is, if we have, you know, Daedalus armor, we have the Starlight Wings buff. I guess I'll put this on. Anyway, let's get to some business. How about instead of beating, I don't, I don't want to fight Plantera. How about we fight the Calamitous Clone? Also, is it 6 a.m. yet? I want to get Chick-fil-A. Man, this class is so fun. It's such a nice, fun, light playthrough especially with Calamity. It just makes it so much more faster. And I think that's really cool. All right, we got enough obsidian, I think. Oh, by the way, here's a really cool crafting tip. If you want to craft something in magic storage and you can't craft it yet, click on this thing so you can see all the recipes. Click on the item you want to craft. Now, even if you can't craft it yet, it says that you need to make hellstone bars, right? Instead of going out of your way to search up hellstone bars and then crafting it this way and then going back, go to the item that you want to craft, Eye of Desolation. You see this? If it's highlighted in like this white background, you can right click it and then just craft from there. And then, to go back to the previous crafting recipe, you can click on this arrow and it will bring you back to your crafting recipe. And then boom, you can just craft it. It's really nice if you want to craft, let's say, um, the Ankh shield. Like, okay, I don't have anything for the Ankh shield, but I can craft the obsidian shield. Bam. Cool. Let's go back. I want to make the Ankh charm. Uh, let's see what we can craft. Okay, we can make the pocket mirror. Anyway, let's fight the Eye of Desolation. Why am I talking so much? Oh, it's the old fight. It's not the new one. The new one is, um, it's like a more closer to a Calamitous itself. Well, I don't mind fighting the old one. Ready, ready, ready? Ooh, good damage. Good damage. Oh my god, bullet hell. I'm, I'm oh, where did that one come from? All right. Nothing too crazy. I've done this a million times. Beekeeper class makes it easier, if anything. Man, I actually missed the uh, new uh, Calamitous clone fight. It's really nice. This feels so bland compared to the old, uh, to the new one. My brothers have been reborn. Oh, you can suck my nuts, guys. I got brothers too. I got the twins. I got the OG twins. I got no honey. I got no blueberries in my ice cream cake. Another bullet hell? Oh my god, shooting the projectiles from fucking Alabama. Oh my god. Oh, they hurt. As soon as my honey recharges, it's dead. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Please! Yes! Oh my god, I have 25 HP! Oopsies, I might have. <laughs> oh, wait, what is this? Broken Hero Sword, the true nectar slasher for the B blade. Wait, that sounds really cool. Wait, let me make that right now. Oh, wait, we can make the fast honeycomb of disaster. What is this? There's a chaotic honeycomb which spawns lasers near enemies. Upon hitting an enemy, the honeycomb spawns calamitous and her brothers. Let me try this out. What the f All right, well, that's pretty cool. All right, wait, let's make this, um, before we actually end the episode, I want to make, I'm sorry, I keep saying before this, before that, let's make the stinger scimitar, the true stinger scimitar, because I did see it. I never crafted it. Let's see it. All right, so this is the basic one. All right, it's like a, I, I thought it was just going to be like a bog. I guess it is like a bog, but now we can make the true stinger scimitar. Okay, it's just like a regular sword. It's nothing crazy. I think I'll like put it in the back burner just in case. Well, I think that's that. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I really appreciate all the support that you guys have been putting on this new channel. It's fucking crazy. And yeah, thank you guys so much for the support once again. Let me know what you guys think about this episode and what other type of series that you guys want to see on this channel and um yeah it's been adrian guys hello buddy and welcome back to the channel my name is adrian and today we're playing some more terraria beekeeper class on the calamity mod now if i remember correctly last episode we beat out all the mechanical bosses and we finished off with beating off the i think calamitous clone and at that point we got a bunch of new weapons including the honey flare cannon the honeycomb of disaster which we got from the calamitous clone we also got this like summon weapon with like the twins which are like really really cool and they can self-destruct we also crafted some daedalus armor and also some holy crusader armor and kind of went with the assumption that Daedalus armor was a little bit better only because we have access to Starlight Wings. The wings match with the armor set, which gives it an additional buff, which means you should probably use it. Anyway, enough yapping and napping. Got a degree in yapology. Today, my episode goals are going to be, let's see. I kind of want to kill all the, the, the things that I haven't beaten yet, like the Aquatic Scourge. It does drop the Naughty Comb. I should probably write this down because since we're playing, <laughs> since we're playing Calamity, we have Aquatic Scourge, uh, Brimstone Elemental. We have Plantera. We have Leviathan. We have, we have a lot of, it drops the Brimstone buff the brim comb so yeah anyway guys that's i think we'll, what we'll be doing today if you guys are new to the channel hello my name is adrian hope you guys are enjoying yourselves what, what was i fucking crafting again seafood this is honestly one of my favorite classes when i did it back in the day which was like 
two years ago, which is not that long. <laughs> we need starfish and shark fins. I'm gonna take a little visit to the beach on the right side of the world and uh, pop our battle cry. All right, there's gotta be some sharks around these parts. Well, there's a leviathan. I don't wanna mess with that. Hey, hey, no attacking it. We are peaceful. We are peaceful. I wonder if I could take it on though. I actually do not wanna know. I need, I just need shark fins, baby. Leviathan and Anahita is a problem for another day. That day is not today because today is Monday. Now, what I'm thinking for today's episode is we kind of kill all of the bosses that we haven't killed yet. And also hopefully by that point, we'll be at play Terra, if not somewhere around that part because i do want to check out all of the like really cool weapons that this mod adds oh yeah, we, oh yeah last episode we also make the true stinger uh scimitar which is um basically a stinger sword but here's the thing you can kind of make i'm assuming like a terra blade version the b blade yeah we're gonna need a nectar slasher the nectar slasher i don't know how we get that i'm assuming maybe we get it from like the queen bee you get it from the trader bee that moves in after you kill the oh yeah we're supposed to get a new npc the trader bee it's not Hold on. I need to make some more fucking houses, dude. I swear, I thought I built a freaking... They all moved! They covered all of it! Okay, hold on. See, this is the problem when you play modded. Every single NPC takes a new house. And there's a million of them. So I want to get my NPCs to move in ASAP. So I'm going to buy something that makes your NPCs move in ASAP. So there's this really cool thing, and I think in Fargo Soul Mod, where if you where if you make a king statue, and you make a queen statue, you can make something called the regal statue. Which basically, as you can see, town NPCs respond really quickly when you're nearby. So I will put this around, like, here. And then they start, you know, moving in real fast. I don't do a lot of building, but when I do, I... Make sure it's efficient and not pretty at all. Why is it taking so long for sharks to spawn? Da, 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 da. Oh my god. You've got to be kidding me. Oh. oh. I just want shark fins. Oh, look. Henry Hornet, the trader bee. There you are. What the heck? Is this a really weird bee? I think the queen bee had a husband. Maybe watch out on that. Thanks, brother. Trader saxophone. I'm oh, okay. The nectar thrower. Huh? I could have made this? Honey locket. Spawns... Sw spawns wasps that swarm enemies every two seconds i'll put it on i have a i have a fucking sandstorm in a bottle this entire time what is this honeybee will automatically collect honey for you increases maximum honey by 15 can i just have it equipped that's kind of cute oh it's like a little balloon oh it's kind of adorable what is this nectar thrower that thing's crazy all right hold on wait let me get dude i've been waiting for freaking sharks this entire time and i'm not getting any luck what is it dude anahita's gotta stop like no seriously it was funny at first and now it's annoying that's a shark right there and he how much like three more of these oh we have five wait are we done why was that so much faster all right uh what was it called the seafood for the aquatic scourge let's head on over buff up and just summon this poor guy i feel like we don't need an arena because we're just so fucking good at this game i will say though i will put a campfire down because i don't want to let's do this it shouldn't be angry at us initially right yeah now it is oh oh look at that damage baby what am i saying dude we are doing so that is stupid that is stupid all right hold on hold on hold on we gotta we gotta we gotta let our honey regen oh my god dude our oh my it's the calamitous one look at the iker one look at look at how just iker works it just bounces and then this one is stupid oh that's dumb oh that's dumb that's not even right that was brutal. That was a massacre. Anyway, we got the we got the not a comb, which vomits the spread of aquatic bees. But why would I use this when I can just use this thing that literally that was crazy. Anyway, brimstone elementals next. We need to make unholy cores, which require infernal suvite, which, if I'm not mistaken, spawns around these parts. I don't know what ore it is though. Oh, it's my, it's that probably this shiny looking ore. That was insane. I actually did not expect to kill it that fast. I think right now, I think our strongest like asset is our pierceability. That's not even a real word. All right, we made the uh, chart idol. So I guess bosses like brimstone elemental are not going to do as well because we can't really pierce it. I mean, just judging by our raw damage, I think we're fine. I will say though, the the background with it being red is not doing it justice i can't see jack shit but i suppose that doesn't really matter we're doing stupid damage we're doing bucket loads cum loads even we're at this laser phase already <laughs> brute forcing it brute forcing it brute forcing it yes uh, brimstone elemental stuff we got the speedy brim comb rapidly fires what 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 why few bees what the fuck this is real this is what, what are you sure we're supposed to have this i think this class is absolutely insane um should we do plantera great sand shark or eclipse um, let's go do plantera let's go make a city buster and just wipe out plantera from the uh face of the earth wow this class is actually fucking crazy now i ideally want a city bust away from the bees because i probably will need that stuff later wait what what is this thing oh my god that's the ball no you gotta be kidding me that's the plantera's music i'm sorry ow Fucking bitch. All right, what about uh, Brimstone Comb? Brimstone Comb doing any damage? 
Oh, I'm not even using it. I can't tell. I can't. I. Whoa, 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 whoa. Queen B, what the fuck? Why is there two of them? Dude, this fucking honey flare cannon ain't doing jack. Oh my god, we gotta make our arena bigger. Why was there two queen bees that came out of nowhere, man? What weapon should we be using? I'm actually not even sure. I gotta get rid of this honey rifle, though. It's not doing me justice. Bezooka. What the fucker? Can we make the bee blade by any chance? Now, what I'm thinking is, as soon as... I think if we get a new weapon and then expand the arena, we should have no problem. I feel like I'm not doing as much damage as I should be. Oh, we could make the bezooka. Let's make the bezooka. We need the bee need... Okay, yeah, let's make it. Why not? Huh. Wait, I want to see the damage real quick. Damage ain't bad, but it's not like fantastic either. I should probably not use the honey locket. I think what's happening is whenever there's too many bees on the screen, it's limiting my DPS because the tick speed or whatever is going on is getting hit by the small bees that do like no damage versus my actual like amazing million dillion caskillion damage. I think that's what's going on here. True nectar slasher. What does this look like? Ooh, whoa. That's pretty sick. You need ectoplasm? I didn't know you need an ectoplasm. Oh my god. All right, wait. Fine. We just got to kill Queen Bee the way that we got to do it. It's not that. I mean, I'm, I'm playing Terra. All right, let's run it back. Let's go to here and then let's go down to the arena and then make it a little bit bigger and add platforms. And hopefully by then we can fight it. Because I'm telling you, we totally can. It's just for some reason we're not. Ooh, a little piece of laugh fruit for me. Let me get that gobbly gook up. And then I'm going to place some wood here so then I can throw the uh, city buster down here and then that should make it all good to go yep it should give us ample space to uh not fucking die but then again this part right here is not jungle so i'm gonna avoid that spot let's try this out we have more regen compared to before more buffs compared to before and we have the acute honey flare can none should be working should be popping ow Jesus Christ, this weapon is so loud. It's like it's happening outside in actual Philadelphia right now. The blood moon is rising. Excellent time. No, why the fuck did I fall in that little gaseous pit? Oh! And then I ran out of flight time. That's why I screamed. Oh my fucking God. Why does playing terror suck balls? All right, let's buy a few things. First of all, let's get the ultimate cake, which basically means all of the buff stations that you can possibly put down will automatically be inherited in your body. Oh my God, I'm broke. All right, I got a few more potions like bounding and whatnot, and it seems to be helping out a lot more. So I think we got this now, folks. I think we got it now, but if I don't, I'm gonna shoot a rocket at my face. I might honestly just use the B flare gun. It's the most consistent one right now. Honestly, I think I know what happened. I think it's my shield. I think my shield is my Achilles heel. I'm doing so much more damage. I took off my shield because all of the bees, I think were like tapping my death, my damage. It's like I look away for one moment. My asshole gets clapped by a different entity or object. Oh my God. This might be it, folks. Oh my God. Having no shield on is actually making this so much better. Come on. Oh my God. Thank the Lord. Oh my fucking God. That was so much like booty effort effort for no reason gone what is this wild honey infused adrenaline vial when adrenaline is active you rapidly spawn bees and have greatly increased life regen you use one honey but like why that's if i have adrenaline act i'll never have this act because i suck at the game camouflage hymen's apiary killing an enemy has a chance to drop up to two honey deposits increased honey regeneration okay sure i'll put that on uh, maybe i'll put that on for here now before we end off the episode though i do want to try and go to the dungeon and mayhaps get this true bee blade thing whatever it is oh there's a bee bee lee only sorry i'm saying i've been saying bees too much okay it's doing really well in the dungeon though i'll say that oh my god wait this bee accessory is making it where like we kind of never run out of oh yeah dude oh my god it's so nice i guess it wouldn't be really as effective on like a boss though because you're not really killing anything during a boss fight oh my god it's so noisy down here the bee blade what do you mean? Oh, I need 65. 65. Oh, wait. I can get that. I can get that. I can get that for you. Come on. How much pollen? Eight pollen. Oh, my God. Wait, we have it. We have enough. We have enough. Give me that motherfucking bee blade, baby. Boom. This thing better be the most crazy thing I've ever touched upon. All right. Let me try it on the uh, king slime. Let's see what it does. Let me just. I'm going to like. Oh, okay. It's definitely not what I was expecting, but I will say it's not. Not disappointing per se. Okay. The damage is pretty solid. I was expecting more. Not going to lie. I don't know. I thought the damage would be a little bit more crazy. Honey hoarder armor. I guess we got to make that next, huh? Honey hoarder. We need. Wow. We need chlorophyte ectoplasm spectral bee tome oh my god we're about to hit end game dude. dude there's so many things you have to craft but i think i'm gonna end it off there thank you guys so much for watching this video i really appreciate the support you guys have been showing on this channel recently i think it's absolutely insane especially on the power world stuff yeah, but anyway thank you guys so much for watching the video and i'll see you guys later
It's been Adrian, guys. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Adrian, and we're back on some more Bombus Apismon, aka the Beekeeper class on some Terraria Calamity. Now, last episode, we ended off the episode, I believe, with killing like Plantera, and we crafted the Bee Blade, which does this thing. It's really freaking cool. We struggled a little bit. Hopefully, this Bee Blade does a decent amount of damage. A solar eclipse is happening. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. Do we even need anything from the solar eclipse? Now, in today's episode, I'm hoping to try and kill Golem because we're pretty strong. And maybe even the Moon Lord. Where is the eclipse? All right, let's see. What do they draw? Can we get anything nice from here? Hyman's Leash of Mothron. Ooh. I guess we'll go through the solar clubs while we're at it. Also, by the way, guys, thank you guys so much for the support on the uh, Power World videos. They are doing so freaking well. The second channel is growing phenomenally, and it's all thanks to you guys. I really appreciate you guys so much. I just need Mothron, all right? Our B is doing a lot of damage. There's Mothron. I should definitely get a DPS meter sometime soon. I actually cannot tell how much damage I'm doing. Like, I feel like some of my things are doing more. Like, I, I can't tell if the Calamitous one is doing more damage than, it, than my B blade. Oh, we got it. All right, well, let's end the event i don't really want to do anything else we got the snailish hymen's leash of mothron hymen was said to be the greatest bee monster hunter in all of history until he died releases a large leash which spawns bees while traveling what the hell guess we're using that also i think our magic storage is getting a little bit uh claustrophobic so i'm assuming i gotta make some hellstone storage upgrades no i'm not really sure what gear we are gonna go for now what did what happens when we kill plantera can we get like reaver armor yet like can we make the terra bee comb the Syrup sticker. What the hell are these names? Honey hoarder armor. We need ectoplasm, chlorophyte. Guess that's what we gotta make. We can make the honey hoarder hood or the honey hoarder mask. I'm just gonna make both of them. Holy crap, that's a lot of stuff to make. Also, can I reforge this uh hymen's leash? Unwanted. Thanks, asshole. Now, if you guys don't know, obviously we're playing Calamity. So right after we beat the dungeon and we uh we beat Golem, we beat Moon Lord. We're going to have to fight Providence. Uh, I do not want to fight Providence. I do not want to fight DOG. I don't want to fight any of them. But I, I, people are saying it's possible, and I don't know how. They're saying that the Bombus Abyss mod gives you, like, ample stuff to survive basically and to that i say it's a load of baloney i don't believe you i've seen what that that boss can do i've seen what these monsters can do they are fucking crazy and you're telling me a pair of bees can solve anything and everything that they throw at our way uh sure as in surely not anyway let's fucking do this baby oh my god it's a pal holy shit we need to start making like calamity accessories like the deific amulet i don't know i feel like the vanilla beekeeper weapons aren't as good as the calamity ones right now which kind of makes sense you know all right let's go get the uh spelunker mining let's bounce oh yeah we also need to get uh, a bottled honey and some honey blocks so we need some bottled water i mean not bottled water uh water to meet honey on contacto all right let's make all of this into honey what is that oh it's a sapphire crawler i think the bee blade is better what are you serious dude bro that's like the second time that happened man all right, at least we still have our bottled honey. Seems like we didn't really miss out much. Thank God, dude. I will say, I think I'm gonna get rid of this Hyman Minotria necklace. It's not really as helpful. The Cthulhu bees were helpful before, but now that since they're, you know, like that's like pre hard mode. I don't know. I think we'll be better off with like a different accessory, but I, I don't know. But then again, we're, we're playing Calamity, so maybe any Calamity uh, accessory would be way better. 80 divided by five. We're probably gonna need about like 400 ore. Also, I've been eating these fucking, all these. I'll, they're like rip off Girl Scout cookies, but they taste exactly the same. And they're so. Oh, good anyway i've been kind of grinding on power World, like off camera a little bit i'm really really stuck on lily and lilene so i don't know hopefully like i get my level high enough so that i can just eat them really quickly but so far it's not really going well this area looks really weird oh it's the plant terror bulb spawner here. holy crap that's a lot of bulbs i've also been contemplating on playing enshrouded dude that game looks really fun i've never played valheim enshrouded looks like a game that i would get into like an rpg you build whatever the hell you want and then you know you have fun with it now we're at 370 or i'm gonna get like 300 ish more what is the uh bombus apis calamity mod armor referring dune rider armor and then also hydrothermic and then i think that's the last one you can make dude, there's no way we can beat s cal or whatever i'll try my hardest but i don't think i can beat it i'm just sorry. all right we got everything we needed let's go back home can make 118 bars honey hoarder armor we're missing honey box oh i didn't get it from the fucking there's also an anime that's been coming out that i freaking love it's called solo leveling i don't know if you guys ever heard of it but basically it got picked up by a really good studio and it was a very popular uh manhwa which is just another word for like korean manga and it got picked up for an anime and i i started reading solo leveling when it first came out and now it's like getting consistent episodes it's so good i highly recommend you guys to check it out it's like five episodes in it is so fucking good it's a very simple story about someone who's gonna get really strong very strong main character stunning animation graphics i highly recommend you guys check it out i was watching the show and i got the craziest boost of testosterone what the fuck 
Why? This is what I get for playing on an older version. Oh my God. I have to get all of the chlorophyte again. Oh, look, it's perennial ore. Can I craft stuff with this? Perennial ore. Ooh. Perennial ore. Perennial bars. I can make the feral flower honeycomb. And I think that's it. Wait, I can make reaver armor. Wait, why is the reaver armor not for a specific class? Jump speed, movement speed, pick speed, wall speed, damage reduction. Did, wait, what? Did they rework how reaver armor works? All right, as soon as I get 400, I'm saving and exiting because I don't want to risk the crash. Cool. Okay, we locked in. We locked in. Also, I think there's a blood moon or something going on. Lame. <gasps> yes, I can. Honey legs, honey tits, and then I'm missing ectoplasm? Uh, not anymore. I'm gonna buy some. Oh, wait. This needs like 70 pollen? Holy shit. I guess I'll get that really quickly. Uh, also, let me get rid of this hemonotrophia necklace thing. It is not as good as I like it to be. All right, we need about 70 pollen. Not thing crazy. All right, I think that's enough pollen. All right, honey. Let's make the honey hoarder hood and then the honey hoarder mask. Let's see what it looks like. Bing, bang, bong. All right, this is the hood. We have gone from 48 to 35 uh, defense. That's not good. Set bonus increased honey regeneration. 33% chance not to use honey. If we have that, then we don't have to use the Hyman's apiary. Holy shit. We're not using honey at all. Wait, we don't. Oh, wait, I'm going to use this. And then what about the mask? Mask gives us more defense. Honey materializes on critical attacks. Yeah, but this one, the regen isn't as fast, but this is what be. This is like a DPS one. I'm, I'm going to keep on both of them. I'm going to hold on to the DPS one just because, you know, it's like DPS and also no, it's more it's like defense, defense, but. Uh, let's start getting like some more accessories and stuff like that because we got to start building up our defense repertoire and i guess that starts with the deific amulet which requires us to get the astral bars which is astrum deus so let's uh let's make this daytime let's also uh start looking into getting angel treads i, I never use the lights and shadows mod as much and this is why it's so goddamn bright is it just mirrors it's so bright up here i get it we're like close to the sun but please i'm melting i can feel the heat emanating through my actual screen all right harpy ring and then you pop in the terra spark boots and you make the angel threads angel treads all right to make the terra honeycomb we need the purgator purgitator which requires a uh, hollowed bar so let's make this nighttime and then kill the destroyer sorry there's so many things to do i mean like this is what you get when you play calamity there's so much cool things and so much things to craft just a lot of things to craft not as bad as fargo though where'd he go oh. it's crazy how much damage we're not actually doing i don't know doesn't it feel like i doesn't it look like i'm supposed to do more damage i'm so spoiled but i don't know it just feels like i should be hitting harder than a truck and i feel like i'm not all right let's make the uh the purgitator pur purgitator Every time, look, I got poor purgitator. I did what? Nothing. Okay, okay, not bad. But now let's craft the chloracomb. Whoa, this is cool. But this involves the terracomb. What is this thing? Let's test it out on uh, killing slime. These be the most amazing thing I've ever made in my terra honeybees. Whoa. Oh, I like this. I think this is going to be one of our main weapons now. All right, I think we're good on weapons. Perhaps we should get better wings like reaver wings. Yeah, the aureate booster. Is this better than ours? More horizontal, more acceleration, more vertical speed, more less flight time. All right, let's see what we got kill we never even fought anahita let's fight anahita dude so we need to kill anahita golem astrum arius and then we gotta kill astrum deus looted to cold dude there's holy shit all right let's try out anahita let's just see how much damage we do if we're not doing enough damage i'm dipping <laughs> i'm out <laughs> yep she's pissed i will say it's very bright outside today i want to think we're doing good damage but i'm actually unsure i should have gotten a dps meter before this fight out <laughs> oh my god please go into the leviathan phase soon all right let's try this out hopefully this is a little bit easier i think it is gonna be easier because at least a terra one you can like spam it on top Oh my god, that hurt like a brick. Okay, we're doing really good damage. But I know if we get hit like one time, dead like a fucking rabbit. What is it doing? All right, we got adrenaline. Come on. Ooh, that's some good damage, baby. Ow, fuck me. Now we got both of these ass hats on me. Oh my god, Anahita is so tanky. And for what? Yes! All right, that's one down. Okay, we're at full HP. We just gotta let our, our honey restore. Can you see how much... Dude, she's so tanky. It's not even that she's tanky. She's just really small and I can't hit her. How I dodge that? That is insane. Come on. There we go. I don't know why these like star noises are glitching. Also, let's save and exit. So we have the treasure bag and I'm not going to lose it. That took so long. How long did that take? I think that, I mean, yeah, that was first try, but oh, I did not expect to take that long. Oh, I got it. It's embarrassing. What the f What does it do? What is that? L hold left click to load up sound fire waves that can be fired upon hit. They spawn a flurry of bees on hit. Okay, let's try it out. 
Okay, it's not bad, but it's not amazing dazing, you know? I'm still not happy by the fact that we have literally no good presets or prefixes. All right, let's get a... Can I get godlike? That's expensive, ain't it? Oh! Can I get godlike in here too? Succulent? I'll take succulent. What is this arena? I'm glad that it's a square, but it's so freaking compressed. Ow, 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 ow. Back like nothing happened. Now, this is Revengeance Golem. I hate Golem. Golem is my worst boss, but I think I should be fine. I got the beekeeper class. Also, he has like penetrating 10 million. Now, I will say I do want to get some hydrothermic armor soon. I think that is the best beekeeper class that we can get. If this doesn't work out, I'll make it the spectral bee tome and the uh, the hymenetree la la flasks. Sounds real good. All right, let's try this out. Let's get this sonar going. All right, this sonar is really kicking ass. This is the perfect arena for this weapon. Why is there so many fucking lasers? Come on. No! I ran into the fire at the top by accident. I will say all of my projectiles look the exact same as the golem's projectile. Let's also like block up this door so all the projectiles kind of like reflect in more. So focused right now, dude. Yes! I just turned on adrenaline. How am I still not alive? How am I alive? Oh my god, thank god. I took like one hit during that. We got a legendary pixel, dude. I was fucking focused up, dude. Thank God. All right, what do we get? We got the Tome of the Sun. What the fuck does that even mean, dude? What the hell? I'm not questioning it. I'm just happy to have it. All right, let's uh, let's go take our prize possess. Wait. What do we got? Faint revive and rep. Wait, faint revving from the Trader B shop. What does that mean, dude? What do you got for me? Uh, you got the B knee gun. That is a very dangerous word. I will take the B gun. The B the B mini gun is what you're trying to tell me. Yeah. All right, hold on. What the fuck? What? Hold on. Holy shit. Okay, wait. Okay, what? I gotta test this out on someone. Um, uh, Ashram Arius, maybe? I thought we were hitting like a like a rough spot in our playthrough, but this just changed how I feel. This bot is getting so good. All right, I think we'll end the episode off after we fight another boss. So the astral biome is right next to the dungeon. Real nice, yo. So this holy light is pretty decent. It like homes. I'm assuming it's also what's healing me. All right, how much damage is this doing? Ooh, it's pretty consistent. Okay. It's so loud. It is actually so loud. Does the Terra Honeycomb actually do more damage in this case? Mm, I don't think so. This is the most insane B weapon so far. Honestly, I think the Tome of the Sun is doing more damage. Yo, Tome of the Sun's kind of crazy because if you can get it inside, it'll burst and hit him. And then when it homes, it'll hit him again. Ooh, all my NPCs are dying. Uh-oh. Oopsie whoopsies. I did a little fucky one. Oh, sorry. All right, we're doing like a thousand a second-ish. Oh my God, wait, what? Why am I taking so much damage all of a sudden? Oh my God, no way. Oh, we killed it. Oh my god, I was close. Holy shit, astral enemies have been empowered. A faint ethereal clicker from the dungeon. Woo. Okay, well, we got a new weapon before we end up the episode. What is this suspicious looking jelly bean? <gasps> it's the Pokemon. Uh, what does this do again? Whoa, what does this do? Does this like, this beam calls in astral lasers from the cosmos on hit. All right, I guess we'll try it on a uh, mechanical worm real quick. Whoa. Wow, this has been a crazy episode. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I think I'll end the episode off here. Next episode, we'll pick off and uh, hopefully beat the Moon Lord, beat everything else from there. Oh my God. I will say that it's not doing as much damage as I hoped it would. And it's dead. All right, I'll leave the episode off there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. This has been Adrian, guys. Hello, buddy. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Adrian and we're back with some Terraria Beekeeper class. Now, last episode, we struggled a little bit. We were trying to finish off the episode by killing Ostrom Arius after we beat the golem and whatnot. And we ended up getting the uh, B minigun, which is one of the coolest and loudest weapons of the game so far. Now, today's episode, I want to—I I have a few things that I want to do before fighting the Lunatic Cultist. And one of them includes making the Spectral Bee Tome, which I've just gathered all the ingredients to make a bookcase. And now with the bookcase, we can make that as a crafting paste, blah, blah, crafting recipe thing. And we should be able to craft the Spectral Bee Tome. Now, I don't know what this does, but I'm assuming it okay it looks pretty cool obviously we'll test this out in a little bit but before that we have a few things that i want to like hammer down so right now our goal is to beat the moon lord i'm assuming i can definitely do that by the end of this episode we're pretty strong but before we beat the moon lord i want to get hydrothermic armor which is a calamity boss item i'm sorry it's a calamity item that drops from the abyss if i'm not mistaken it's i believe on the third layer of the abyss in, in order to go to the abyss you're gonna need to get some abyssal items like abyssal diving gear so you don't drown and die the problem is it's a little bit annoying to get it because well you're you you kind of need a lot of stuff and i mean a lot you have to get like a bunch of stuff so let's uh, start like kind of like writing it down we need luminite but i'm just gonna get the abyssal diving gear see you need like a arctic diving gear depths charm blah 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 dude so let's start off with uh, a flipper potion and gills potion and then let's make our way there hydrothermic armor is
is going to be fantastic because we can now get it because we have a pixel by the way you can only hi uh, access hydrothermic after getting a pixel and i believe it is the best armor set that we can craft if i'm not mistaken because for the regular mod it stops at the honey hoarder which which is what we have and then after honey hoarder we have the uh, dune rider which i believe is below honey hoarder but then we have hydrothermic veil and then after that i think we're done so let's go text this out and if you guys are new here my name is adrian we're doing some terraria beekeeper class i usually do this on my main channel but i don't want to just have power world on this channel oh wait what is this rusty beacon prototype what the hell that's a summoner weapon i've used that before all right we gotta make our way down all right we should be able to breathe a decent oh wait there's scoria right here oh my god wait what maybe we don't have to make the armor set or we don't have to make the abyssal diving gear this is nice i will say though it is really fucking dark down here guys oh my god look there's more uh oh god no so the thing in the abyss is if you breathe any air Air, it's like compressed air so it like kills you all right come on scoria ore oh that's a big chunk oh right there oh see how we're like losing breath this is bad we're on the second level oh we just got a uh all right we are we are dying okay we need to get as much ore as possible and then dip oh my god oh my god what what, what is that pyre mantle that's new anyway let's use this a uh, scoria ore let's see what we can craft so far all right let's see what we can craft so far uh let's we can craft about 38 bars so we can make the chest plate and then we can make the veil excuse me and then oh wait we can make the full armor set nice <laughs> hold on let's see we're at 36 defense we're at 51 now we have less honey than before is our like dps improved 73 57 oh yeah so we do have more dps okay inferno effect uh strike an enemy with a whatever it gives a uh, chaos flare projectile we also emit a blazing explosion whenever we're hit okay this is not bad at all we can also make the hadal mantle and replace that with our ariet stuff i didn't expect that to go by so quickly i do not like the helmet though can I get a different helmet? Uh, I'll take a uh, a Dr. Fly helmet. Ew, that's ugly. I'll take a golem mask. That's even uglier, but whatever. Awesome. So we just got hydrothermic armor. That was one of the goals I wanted to do. All right, let's try and fight the uh let's try to fight uh astral deus uh, astrum deus which is a boss you can fight right before the lunatic cultist, which gives you access to lunar fragments. The only problem is where the fuck is he? Oh, here he is. So in order to spawn him, we need a Titan heart, if I'm not mistaken. Nice, we have two of those. Uh, let's make our way to the Astral Biome, which I believe is by the dungeon. We're making a lot of progress, but probably after this episode, I'm gonna spend some time off camera just kind of getting a lot of gear because we don't have a lot of Calamity gear, which is gonna be really bad because sooner or later, we're going to need, you know, Calamity gear to fight the end game bosses because vanilla game is literally about to end after this probably fight because then we'll fight the Moon Lord and it's kind of over. But until then, I think we're fine right now. Wait, where the hell's a... Oh, here it is. Oh my god, I forgot. It has a flying debuff. This thing sucks. It makes it so hard to fly. The music is fire, though. Holy mother of god. Is that the damage we're doing? Wait, it's not a lot of damage. It is so loud. Hold on. It's not a lot of damage, folks. All right, how about the Roar to the Leviathan? Oh! Let's turn up our audio back, because I want to hear the little crisp sound of the bees going through its body. Oh my god! It's at its second phase now. Let's go, pussy boy! Oh my god, adrenaline. No, I troll! Why did I hop in there? Die, 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 die! There we go. That was insane. All right, we got a bunch of stuff and we got a bunch of fragments. All right, let's head on home. First of all, let's get these healing potions in our little arsenal. Holy crap, we have a lot of stuff. All right, let's open up the treasure bag. We did not get anything for the... Oh, we did. We got the Copernican... Co Copernicum... 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 Comb? Coperna I'm gonna kill myself. Shut up. Ooh, okay. I'll hold on to this. It looks real nice. Now, here's the thing. You can get nebula fragments, but the thing is, we're a beekeeper class, so what is that gonna do, Adrian? You can actually get... uh, What is it called? Like, spectral bees or something like that? There's a thing that you can craft. Oh, wait, you need um, you need the lunatic cultist thing. You can make these photonic uh, particles, but you need the ancient manipulator. Okay, well, let's go fight the fucking cultist, baby. We are so, like, fucking strong. Oh, we do have a lot of money on us. I hope we don't die. I think right now the beekeeper class thrives specifically on piercing, like, damage. Oh, hey, guys. All right, I hope this will be fine. If anything, we'll just use the spectral tome. All right, yeah. Oh, no, this is really good. This is the revengeance lunatic cultist. Oh, my God. Tome of the sun is kicking his ass. I'm gonna try the Ashen Day bees oh they do really good too come on adrenaline this bitch up which one is he which one is he i can't tell i can't tell the reason why ash from deus bees they seem to be doing damage i think oh no what is going on what is going on your circle's flying everywhere polygonal shapes oh no there we go all right let's take this ancient manipulator and toss it in our little chesty westy and then oh wait i completely forgot we can actually get a um astral ore so let's actually first of all before we do a lunar events let's go ahead and make ourselves a deific amulet which requires astral bars but you can actually use astral bars oh wait we're at the next 
be able to fight. Hold on. Let me uh, let me just mine all this astral ore. Get this out of the way, you know. So about 228, not bad. All right, let's make these astral bars. We're gonna get like a million of them. And now let's make our deific amulet. Now the deific amulet is fantastic because it combines the philosophy, what am I called? Charm of Myths with the Star Veil, which I actually have no, no equipment of or sea prisms. You know what, I'll make this a little bit later. Let's go make those photonic B particles. I actually never made these before. I made 40 of them. That might have been a bad decision. So this makes the honeycomb of the cosmos. Oh my God, you needed all of the fragments for this? I'm fucking stupid. Well, we're making a lot of progress. I will say that. I don't want to get too caught up in this progress, Magress. I think about battle cries, it makes this fight real easy. Wow, look at that. Take these nebula fragments out of your way. I still don't understand why people prefer to not have recall potions. Like if you're playing a modded playthrough and you can buy recall potions, why not use them over the magic mirror? You save yourself. Like it's literally an instant, like an instant use. I don't know. I just find it crazy because I'll play with Waffle sometimes. And especially like at the very beginning when we were playing Inferno, I think he was using a uh, magic mirror or he would get happy when he gets a magic mirror. I'm like, dude, just, just, just get, just buy recalls. They're infinite technically because you can just buy them and they're like really fast. All right. Got all the, uh, vortex fragments no this one's gonna suck though all right we're still we're doing decent wait we have we're getting solar fragments though how many do we need we need eight wait we could probably we can actually make this uh thing before the uh the lunar event and oh wait let's go ahead and uh head on over to a uh, stardust pillar baby i know it's a little too late but i wonder what the uh duke fish on will drop for the beekeeper class holy shit look at all those stars all right, we got Stardust down. All right, let's make this little celestial bee comb, whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. It's called the Honeycomb of the Cosmos. I was close. Honeycomb of the Cosmos. Succulent. All right, not bad. Let's see what it does. Oh, you control it. Okay, that's kind of cool. It charges up. Upon releasing the mouse button, the Honeycomb will be channeled back to the owner. Breaks the fabric of the Cosmos. It sounds pretty cool. Let's test it out. Oh, it does a lot of damage. The damage is definitely better than any of my weapons right now. All right, let's head on home and get ready for the Moon Lord baby now the only thing holding us back in my opinion is the fact that we have 51 defense all right let's try this out um oh god he's gonna oh my god it's so much faster holy shit hold on i'm about to die oh i should have made an actual arena for this i actually didn't think he would be hard oh i'm dead holy shit okay so i discovered something pretty crazy apparently the B Calamity expansion only goes up to Moon Lord. And I didn't know that. If I've known that, I would have killed every single Calamity boss already. Damn, that's crazy. All right, anyway, before we kill the Moon Lord, which is technically the final boss, I did not know that. I should have done more research on my part. There's a lot of items that we can actually craft that I didn't even know existed because I was looking at craftable items. Whereas over here, this is not craftable. This is dropped items. So some of the things that we skipped on are like the honey manipulator. Uh, you get this from the Martian saucer and you can convert your honey capacity into HP for a cooldown, which is really cool. But I want to craft, let's see, what is it called? I was thinking about crafting the Lizardian Hornet Relic. It drops from the lizards. And also I got this thing called the Succulent Call of the Stars. It does this. It is crazy. So I'm going to try and get like basically max out all of my accessories. Because now that I realize that Moon Lord is the final boss and we got wiped by him last time, I'm going to get some fucking revenge. This weapon is crazy. Did I get it? I got it. What does this do? All right, let's try it on. I need to press a key bind. Uh, B, B, B. There we go. Bow. Boom. What does this do? What the hell is going on? I see God. So wait, what did that do? Did I make my damage go up or something? You basically do more damage, speed, crit chance increase, 45% cooldown. Damn, that's that's cool, I guess. It's gonna end soon. Let's kill every single possible boss for Farmer Lord. So I definitely want to do the Plague Bringer Goliath because he drops the Plague Bringer's charge. To do that, we need to get Plague Cell Canisters. Okay, this class is actually broken. I was only saying it wasn't broken because I'm like, oh, we gotta go into, you know, post Moon Lord, but no. Oh, we're not post moon lording this. All right, let's fight here. Let's use this ability. Sheesh. HP is gone. Ow! So is mine. I should have made a bigger arena. Damn, it's still so. I thought this would go all the way to Supreme Calamitous, but I should have known. I'm like looking at the gear. I'm like, dude, what? Maybe we shouldn't even use hydrothermic armor. Cause not gonna lie, like I kind of prefer the honey regen. Holy shit! The, the problem is, I'm not even. I like. I know all the attack patterns. I just can't see it oh my god i keep dying to the plague bro there we go that took so long holy crap we got a lot of stuff from there we got the slingshot Ooh, yeah yeah this is what i wanted the power of the plague alters your movement use the power of the plague ringer to dash in any cardinal any cardinal direction out north south so wait what whoa you can dash up and down all right let's uh, make a little platform up why is it fucking raining dude okay i think we have a decently enough platform 
Ooh, we did some Gucci Damaji, my friends. Oh my god, I forgot. We have the fucking like solar power of the sun. I forgot to use that with my adrenaline. That was dumb. Why does he keep teleporting? Are we really that fast? Come on. I forgot to use my sun power. All right, we're doing a lot of... Dash up with the B-Shield, yes! We, he has a lot of HP, I'll tell you that. Why does he have so much HP? Why does he have so much fucking HP? Why does it look like he's not taking any damage? Okay, come on. He has 7,000, 77,000 HP? I don't even know, dude. Mmm, we're so close. It took like five minutes. Why did it take so long? Is it because my bees were like decreasing my game? I don't even care. Give me my stuff. Yes. We got the queen's larvae. Huh? Drains your honey on use. You just now, wait, we just have a queen bee? It's so strong. And why is it making everything like Mountain Dew infused? Let's do a Martian invasion. Let's put this to the test. Oh my God, it's killing everything so fast. Let's turn on the battle cry. Cry for help, pimp squeaks. Wait, my queen bee died? No! Well, actually, I think that'll be for today's episode. I think we've done everything in the beekeeper class. I mean, I'm sure there's a few other items that I could get, like some stuff from like Plaguebringer, Dune Rider armor, but you guys can go check that out yourself. And I feel like there's more items in the newer version anyway. But yeah, I just wanted to check out all the items on the Calamity extension and on the regular one too. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it's been Adrian, guys. This class is actually so fucking broken. Holy crap.